Hi everyone, it's me Emily. Um, just to let you guys know I'm not at home. I'm actually at my local park. I've just finished work early so and I've been struggling quite badly the last couple of weeks. Um, it's nothing to do with my anxiety but it's a lot of like family issues that's been going on. Um, geez, I mean I even felt really uncomfortable about going in today but I still went and I really enjoyed it it was really good but um it's really hard because I mean I haven't spoken to my family for like weeks no not weeks um actually years about three years um because when my sister lost her baby that's when everyone started slagging my mother off everyone was like against us and it's never going to change in a way um, now my granddad I've never um, been close with him he's always been a horrible man very horrible um, he passed away on Wednesday this week well last Wednesday and and to be honest yeah I am shocked and I'm a bit upset about it but um, to be honest he was never a nice man so I don't know why I should be upset over him or anything I mean you know, yeah, he spoiled me with gifts and presents and money, but he never spoiled me with love. So I guess that's why I never got on with him. And he um, never liked my mum. So, yeah, but um, now this is going to sound like really stupid. Actually, I'm going to stop swinging just in case you guys are getting very dizzy. Um, it's so hard for me to talk about this because it's just... My family life is just so complicated. I mean, I live with my mom and my sister and we're very close, but um, I come from like a really big family. Like my, I have about five aunts in my mother's side of the family and I, and one uncle. And on my dad's side of the family, I have two aunts and one or two uncles, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we are a very big family and we don't even talk to each other whatsoever, which is sad because I mean like, you know, you go to the park, you see a lot of people at Christmas and Easter and they're just so happy. They're all filled with joy and happy to be together. But to my family, it's nothing like that. It's ridiculous in a way. <sighs> so this, um, actually last night, my aunt who is my mother's twin sister she um blabbed about it on facebook slagging my mother off saying that how she should stop going around telling people that she never knew that my granddad died now that is obviously not true because her um cousin um somewhere else actually i don't know like the family tradition i'm so useless um yeah the yeah, her cousin told her other cousin and then her other cousin told her. So obviously we was never the first to know about it and everyone's like been... I would say that everyone is like on my mother's side, actually, I think, but I'm not going to put up too much hope. Um, but yeah, she put on Facebook saying that about how old this one is for my sister, mentioning her name, saying that, like, oh, you know, you are this, stop saying a load of lies when we're not even telling you lies now I've been having really bad panic attacks over this lately because um I mean I've been getting a bit of chest pain which is what my mother usually gets whenever she's frightened and she hasn't had one since like last year but I mean like it was um it wasn't as bad as last month I'm pretty sure I mentioned in my previous videos but um yeah I'm just petrified because, I mean, like, she was walking me to work today and she um, got a call from my sister's best mate mentioning everything. And, obviously, she also got lied to, my best, lied to her best mate saying, oh, I've been so ill over this, I had to have a week off work. Now, I'm hoping to God that is obviously not true because um, my mother's boss has, you know, set her off a holiday. So, yeah, I mean, like, my mum, if you ask me like, how my mum is, she is absolutely fine about it. She doesn't really, like, care and she obviously said, you know what, it's okay to never never talk to your family again because they were never there for you. So, and if they are there for her, then she's going to get really ill. But I feel like the way that they all keep coming back at us 
like we build a wall around ourselves and all they keep doing is like bashing and bashing and bashing it to get in trying to kill us or something it's that complicated so I've been wanting to like do a video like this for quite a while now but I just can never find the right words and I think after today this is really like what needs to stop I haven't um texted my mother yet telling her that I'm home or anything um so hopefully you know I'm just I'm sitting there thinking is she all right is she crying her eyes out or I don't know to be honest um but yeah I mean like it's really it really is okay to like you know cut family ties or something because if they were never there for you or anything but to me it's just so complicated because it's like you grow up in an environment where you think oh yeah your family loves you so much but then as you get older you realize no they were never there for you so why even bother so yeah I've been struggling so much with the anxiety about family life which has been horrendous lately I just I don't know I don't know when it's all going to stop kicking off um so yeah I don't like my family <laughs> I love my mum and my sister because yeah we're very close but the other lot around like outside of us is just too much so I don't know when it's going to end I just wish to god everyone would just leave us alone for the time being we don't want to know what's going on because if we do then it's going to make things worse for us so I'm literally like praying to god just you know leave us be like let us build a wall, a wall around us and let no one in I don't want any like knights in charming armors like trying to kick in trying to tell us bad news um so yeah that's all i'm gonna say for today because I, I, I don't want to go into any like dl because obviously you know it has been horrendous lately and i don't know if and it's annoying because like every time i upload it you know like it's either talking about my anxiety or it's about good things exciting things but i feel like this is all i've got at the moment so yeah anyway i'm gonna start making a move home because i <laughs> I mean, I finished work early, so I thought I'd stay out here for a bit. Um, hope that you guys can understand. And if you are going through something similar like this, just make sure you know you're not alone. You are absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, family life are really complicated. So yeah, I'll see you guys very soon and take care.